morning everyone it's a beautiful Thursday can you see the Sun rising far away from me God is so faithful my brothers and sisters as the Sun rises the Lord Jesus Christ the Son of God is rising on you and me today God is so faithful and sometimes you might feel thirsty you might feel cracked you might feel dry and every time you feel dried and thirsty and you need something you're missing something in your life our Lord Jesus tells us in John chapter 7 verse 37 he says come those who are thirsty come those who need a drink come to me and I will give you I will make you have rivers of living water gush out of you my brothers and sisters that is the promise that our Lord gives us that not only we will be satisfied with our thirst quenched but we would have rivers of living water gush out of us that it will flow through us that we would wherever we go we will make that people around us who are thirsty satisfied my brother and sister isn't it a great promise from our God from our Lord Jesus Christ not only for our toes to be quenched not only for our needs to be met but that we would be a blessing to others that we would be able to make others thirst quenched this is the promise that when God says those who believe in me those who come to me and trust me I will have rivers of living water flow from me Yesterday I was off and I was supposed to get my needles for my three children but the doctor called, doctor's office called and said that they are unable to give uh, yesterday because she's not available, she's, uh, she's not well. So when that happened I had to change my plans and uh, so I took the kids here and there to a beautiful park in Gilwood. We went for a walk there and then I had the art class with youth people. Uh, we went there as well and then uh, we uh, went to a small splash pad. My children, my, especially my daughter loves and we came home and uh, did some chores that I had at home that I needed to do that I was postponing and uh, I did all that and I am um, I am glad that even though things didn't work out the way we wanted God knows everything right so my brother and sister whatever that you might have planned today today is a day of work for me that I will be going downtown that I will be working I know that God will satisfy me that whatever I do that I will remember that I'm not doing it for myself I'm not doing it for the company I'm not doing for my boss but I am doing it because my Lord Jesus dwells in me and with him all things are possible with him I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me that I will do stuff to glorify God I will walk the way that God has asked me to walk I will do the things that God has asked me to do so my brother and sister whatever that you are feeling today be satisfied with our Lord Jesus Christ may he take that thirst that you have and quench it may the Lord satisfy you have you been satisfied with the things in the world you might feel that you thirst again you might drink this amazing drink that the world offers you might feel thirsty and want to drink again and again you might have a love that you have experienced maybe maybe your spouse's love maybe your brothers or your sisters or siblings love but you're not satisfied because it's not eternal it's not complete but the love that our Lord Jesus gives us is eternal the, the, the rivers that will run through you will be overflowing will be not running low it'll be forever running so my brother and sister there's no one else and our Lord Jesus who can fill that void quench that thirst in your life and my life come to him today trust in him today hope in him today 
If you need healing, trust in him who can heal you. Because he says, by his stripes, you are healed. If you need joy, come to him. He will satisfy, give you the desires of your heart. Not a vocation will satisfy you. Not retirement will satisfy you. How much we want things in the world to satisfy, activities in the world to make us happy. We know that they're all temporary. But when you have the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, when you are filled with His rivers of living water, you will be satisfied so that you will tell others about Him. You will proclaim His goodness. Let's pray. Father God, we come to you. Lord, we know that no one, nothing, will satisfy us like you do. We come to you as John 7, 37 says. We are thirsty. We are dried. We are empty. We come to you, Lord, to fill us. Fill us, Lord, today. Fill us with the rivers of living water. We will not thirst again. That our thirst will be quenched. Our needs are met. Lord, I pray that you will touch my brother and sister. Wherever they are, Lord, you see their hardships, you see their trials, you see their difficulties. Be with them, Lord. May your spirit dwell in them. May you satisfy them. Lord, I pray for healing. Pray for protection. Pray for provision. I pray that you would cancel all their debts. I pray for protection over their children, their homes, their lives. I pray, Lord, that your blood will cover us. Your blood will overcome and prevail any struggle that we might have. Lord, we call upon your name, the name of the Lord, the name of Jesus that is above every other name. We know, Lord, at the name of Jesus, every demon, every oppression, every depression, every hardship will fall. In Jesus' name we pray. My brother and sister, be encouraged today. Be satisfied with our Lord Jesus today. May He give you the desires of your heart. May, be, may He give you favor in your workplace, in everything you do. May He heal your bones and your muscles, your joints, your whole body today. May He satisfy you. May you be rivers of living water, sending and providing water to people around who are thirsty, who are dry, who are lonely, who are depressed, who need help. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you all. This is a beautiful Thursday. Oh, the sun is rising. It's so beautiful. God bless you. Bye.